Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. If you enjoy this merchandise, which it's kind of sick, like me easy, link below if you want to go check that out. Help support the channel. You don't have to, but if you'd like to, you sure can. Okay, without further ado, let's hop into this video. Uh, if you guys would be so kind, subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, share this with your best friend, and hit that notification bell for future uploads. Today I'm going to be showing you one of the easiest tutorials ever, however, a lot of you probably don't know you can actually do this. Um, I just got a brand new custom PC, so, and this is a problem I ran into when it comes to internet, so I'm going to show you how to solve this. Basically, the gist of this is when you have a desktop PC, a custom PC, um, or many pre-built actually, don't come with a built-in Wi-Fi card in the motherboard. So basically, you can't connect to the internet via Wi-Fi. The only way you can connect to the internet is via Ethernet, and not all desktops, all uh, PC locations in your house are going to have a uh, Ethernet port to plug it in and actually get internet access which is fine, you don't need Ethernet. You can connect to Wi-Fi if you have a router in your house and you're actually broadcasting Wi-Fi. Obviously, Ethernet is better than Wi-Fi in most circumstances. However, this is a great way to actually connect to the Internet via Wi-Fi on a PC when you don't actually have Ethernet. So I'm going to hop over to my phone and show you briefly how you actually do this. The product we're going to be reviewing, I'm sorry, not reviewing, uh, displaying in this is going to be linked down below for you guys to go check out. It's going to be an Amazon affiliate link. I earn a small commission off of it um, and it helps support the channel. So if you guys are interested in this product, go click it in the description. And now let's hop into the footage from my phone and actually show you how to use it. Gentlemen, this is the product we're going to be using in this video. It's made by a company. I don't know if you can see that. It's called TP Link. Link down below in the description of this video. It's a little USB. Uh, micro USB that plugs into any USB port on a standard computer, desktop, laptop, what have you. Basically gives you access to connect to your router that's broadcasting Wi-Fi. It's very easy to use. It's plug and play. No drivers necessary to download. Uh, it works perfectly on Windows 10, 8, 7, Vista, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, very easy to use. Literally just take this and plug it into the back. Here's the back of my computer right here. Um, it works best if it's in a USB 3 port. Um, I'm just going to plug it in this one right here. All you have to do is just literally plug it into your PC. Your PC will recognize it. And then once you're all set up and everything, it should just light up green. Basically showing you that it's connected to your Wi-Fi uh, network. And there we go. It should be good to go. It's lighting up. And now you can use Ethernet, or I'm sorry, Wi-Fi on your PC, get access to the internet, and you're all set so you can utilize a lot of the functions uh, for your PC over the internet. And that's basically it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how easy it is to get Wi-Fi on your PC if you don't have an Ethernet cable, Ethernet port lying around in your room. Just go pick up one of these Wi-Fi adapters off Amazon. Links down below, affiliate links, as always, in the description if you guys want to go pick this one up. Obviously, there's a lot more. You can pay a little more money for a more expensive one that maybe offers better connectivity, faster speeds, and such. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this, found it useful, subscribe, hit the bell notification, like this video, go check out the College Made Easy podcast link down below if you're interested in that. And I'll see you guys in the next video from Life Made Easy. Hope you enjoyed this one.